In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the A-gap blitz that Abram used to really make his defense, I think, his best defensive performance when he actually defended Dodimus in the Madden 24 Zero Chill uh, Championship or Tournament. And uh, this, this defense is something that really I don't think a lot of people have um, brought a lot of spotlight or attention to. And there's actually some really cool stuff that you can do in Dime Normal. Dime Normal has been one of those defenses that I feel like it's been on the fringe of being really, really meta or really, really good this year. And it just hasn't quite in, quite broken through that. And the main reason why is because of the inability to control, um, in my opinion, control pressure and coverage adjustments behind that. And so this defense is actually going to kind of give us the ability to do both of those things. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to come out, if I can find the play, um, in this Dime Blitz 3. But what's really important when running this blitz is you want to turn your auto flip defensive play call off, and we are going to flip this play. What you're then going to see here is you see how this slot corner on the left-hand side is actually going to line up pretty close to the line of scrimmage. What we're going to do is we're going to audible to DB Blitz, and then we're going to pinch our defense. And notice, as you can see here, he actually goes out wide uh, to defend there. The reason that's significant is because when we do this out of DB Blitz 3, you're going to notice that he's actually going to come inside, and it's going to be just fine. All we're going to do is we're just going to basically uh, pinch our defensive line, and then we are going to crash our defensive line inside. That's pretty much the setup for the blitz. Now, what's also really cool about this coverage behind it is the coverage is perfectly equipped to be able to handle a lot of different things that you're going to be seeing online. All we're going to simply do is shade our coverage underneath. I want, to, I want you to watch how this hard flat will play wheels, and then we're going to kind of stand basically right in here. What you're going to see is you're going to get crazy good pressure, and that safety is actually going to lurk down really, really well uh, to be able to take away the, the quick throws. So if you take a look here at the, at the snap of the ball, because of the slot corner being placed more so to the inside of the formation, you're going to notice that it's going to create this gap where we're going to be able to get this kind of a gap pressure. Now, I know that we get nano detected here and you will get nano detected some if you decide to use this defense. But what I want to communicate to you guys is there is kind of um, in the real NFL, there's a thing called simulated pressures in Madden. There's what I would say is you feel pressure even sometimes when it's not necessarily there. The cool part about this is even though we do get nano detected, if I'm trying to make a read here and I see Micah Parsons standing completely unblocked in the, in the A gap, it's going to make you force your reads, right? It's going to make you have to do that. And you're not always going to get nano detected. And then obviously, as you see right here, um, the other cool part about this adjustment is if you look at that hard flat, they might throw this route to uh, Bishan, Rob, uh, Bishan Robinson here. But the beauty of this hard flat is, I mean, that's going to be a catch tackle. And then obviously, because he's kind of traveling down this path, my user needs to be in the seam area of the field over here. But if you come out, if you come back over here and look at this, we have a simple hard flat cover three. And you see we're able to take away pretty much anything quick. That's the beauty of this defense. So again, all we're going to do, pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line inside. And we're going to typically stand about kind of right in here. I like to not have the green bar over my head whenever I'm running this defense because I think it's better for gap style pressure. And you see right there, we're able to get the B gap pressure uh, from the line, the defensive end position. Sometimes you'll get B gap, sometimes you'll get A gap, and sometimes you will get edge pressure. Uh, I find the B gap pressure to be the best form of the pressure because it comes in probably the quickest and it's not going to get nano detected. Obviously, from there, you can kind of craft your covered adjustments however you might want to. One of the other things that you can do with this is you can send the slot corner on the opposite side. So if I wanted to send the slot corner on the right, you see we're going to get the double pressure. This is the the powerful blitzing threat that the dime normal uh, affords you. And then let's say you want to kind of play some coverage out of this. Maybe you don't want to blitz every play. You want to play me play some coverage. Well, if we want to play some coverage, maybe we go with a coverage adjustment like this, for example, the pinch crash down, and then we're going to blitz our user now. And what you're going to see is sometimes you can actually get some cool disengages from this as well. So the beauty of dime normal is it's a fully equipped defense to be able to do a lot of different things. You can send six, you can send five, you can send four, and ultimately you can also 
also send, if you want to, you can certainly send uh, three people at the quarterback. Now, when you're sending three, you definitely want to have this little green bar above your head so that you will actually get a shed. But this is kind of a little mini scheme out of dime normal. I think Abram really had a great defensive game plan. I think out of everybody, his defense certainly looked the best um, that I saw. And it's really because of this five-man absolute heater he cooked up out of the dime normal. Real simple defense. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to take your game to the next level, join the Patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.